In the national picture the last three years, it has been UCLA dominating the Pac-10, but they lost a lot. Can they climb back up that mountain again? Jason Hoare with CBS College Sports and Steve Lapp is glad to be with you. Breaking down the Pac-10 here on CBSSports.com. Steve, when you look at the guys they lost, Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook and Luke Richard and Bamute, with Darren Collison and Josh Schiff back, can they lead them to another Pac-10 title? I think they can, but they're really hurting right now, especially inside. Now, they got a freshman coming in. We know about Drew Holiday. He's a great guard. But Jamison Morgan is going to be a very important guy on this team because he's a, he's a big guy coming in. Because Alfred Aboy is a senior. He's been a role player all these years. Keith has been a, is a senior. He's been a role player. They need somebody to step up inside if they're going to be what they were. Now, you mentioned Drew Holiday. Is he an O.J. Mayo type player that people should expect? Or maybe a better all-around player with his defense? Better all-around player for, because of his defense and because he's more of a pure point guard. And even though they have Darren Collison in Ben Holland's system, they can play with two point guards. In college in general, you can play with two point guards, especially two talented ones where they both can score. And Drew Holiday has a chance to be a very special kid. And they're picked again to finish atop the Pac-10. Now, you also have the biggest off-the-court story heading into the uh, college basketball season, and that's Lute Olsen uh, no longer at Arizona. How far down is this team going to fall this year? Well, here's what I will tell you. Lute Olsen and Jim Calhoun in Connecticut probably did the two best, and John Calipari. Those are the three guys who did the, th the best jobs in college basketball over the last 25 years. Arizona, if people remember, was not much of a basketball school until Lute Olsen got there. I think they have the potential to make a big drop. Don't get me wrong. It's a great place. Tucson's a great place to go to school. But that program has to show that it can overcome the loss of the guy who really started it. And, you know, at this point right now, they have to wait to go out and try and get that big-name coach. So we'll see what happens with Arizona. Now, the other part to that state is that you've got Arizona State, a team who is always second fiddle to Arizona, except for this year, and the reason has to be a guy named James Harden. How good will this team be? Well, I think this team has a chance to be very good. And Herb Sendick is way ahead of schedule in terms of what he has done at Arizona State. Last year was only his second year, and they really – could have made they were a bad call away from making the NCAA double tournament last year which I'm sure when the season started Herb did not expect but James Harden is a special kid this kid first team all Pac-10 another guy who could have gone in the NBA draft decided to come back they have a big kid inside named Jeff Pendergraft but they really only have him inside the question is is they have a very thin front court but the style they play Rebounding is not as important because they play for a lot of layups. They know how to run that Princeton style of offense. So the question is, do they have enough depth? And what's going to happen when they are the hunted? Last year, they caught people by surprise, not catching anybody by surprise this year. Arizona is a big game. Arizona State is a big game for everybody in the Pac-10. Yep. People are going to be extra ready. And, and it makes it that trip to Arizona a little easier because if Arizona is not as good, even with Chase Budinger, you still have to play Arizona State. So you, maybe one easy, one not as, as difficult to, as years past. All right, now the other part, we talked about UCLA. USC was the other good team in the conference in Southern California. Very good last year with O.J. Mayo and all the freshmen. They bring in DeMar DeRozan, another very good freshman. But Tim Floyd, it seems like he's having to reload every year as opposed to keeping players there. Does that catch up to them eventually? Well, it could hurt you. But he's still got Taj Gibson. He's still got Daniel Hackett. And now he adds DeMar DeRozan. And, yeah, when you have to retool that much every year, it does make a difference. But one thing about Tim Floyd, he's a defense defensive coach and it's a lot easier to get your defense working together than it is to get your offense working together so as long as he's able to keep them on the same page defensively like they've been they have a chance to be good but don't take anything when we talk about Drew Holiday UCLA don't take anything away from this kid DeMar DeRozan he is every bit as athletic and he could easily be the Pac-10 rookie of the year all right real quickly three teams that are uh, usually at least trying to make it to the tournament and and competing every year Oregon Washington and Cal Oregon's made it the last two years Washington has been a disappointment the last couple of years in Cal. Same thing, but maybe they make it back this year. Any of those three teams compete for the tournament? Washington has a great chance of surprise. John Brockman, one of the best big men in the country, not just in the Pac-10. This is a kid that rebounds over 11 rebounds a game. He could put the he puts up numbers, 17 points. Then they have Quincy Poindexter, Justin Dentman. So they have three very good, experienced players. I think this year they could be the team that surprised. What a great story about about Mike Montgomery going to Cal after being at Stanford all those years, and he ends up at Cal across the bay. So there's a lot of good stories there, but I think. Washington has a chance to surprise. He, he lost a couple of guys, but Cal, Cal still has some good talent there. So we'll see if Cal 
can get back to the tournament. Oregon, Ernie Kent lost a lot of people this past year, so it could be a tough year there in Eugene. All right, we've talked about your freshman of the year, Andrew Holiday. We've talked about your biggest surprise in Washington. When you look at a disappointment, uh, USC is a, a team that everybody likes, but maybe they're not as good this year. Well, you know, they, I question their perimeter shooting. They're not a great perimeter shooting team. DeMar DeRozan's a great athlete, but not really a great shooter. So I wonder if they're going to be able to score enough. They're being picked second by most people in the league, sometimes third. I think this is a team that has a chance to be a little disappointed. All right, for more on the Pac-10 or any of the other so-called BCS conferences in college basketball, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Check out the other video previews here on the website. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Let's get ready for college basketball, folks. Take care.